Gold is a premium currency in Red Dead Online. You need it to buy rolls so or let's say make your weapons golden. There are five main ways how you can earn gold in Red Dead Online, so let's take a look at them and see which one is actually the best. First of all, you earn gold for time spent in a mission after you complete it. Yes, you've heard me correctly, you're getting paid for a time spent in a mission, not really for a completing mission. And yes, you still have to complete it, but if you will finish the mission in less than three minutes, is you will earn no gold at all. Pretty much every single activity in Red Dead Online has this stupid payout system. Stranger and Blood Money missions, Land of Opportunity story missions, PvP events, Bounty Hunter role missions, pretty much everything. The only exception is Call to Arms Telegram missions. There you're actually getting paid for what you achieve, not for the time spent. But in most cases you will be earning no gold at all if you will complete mission in less of than 3 minutes, 0.08 gold bars for completing it in less than 6 minutes, 0.16 gold bars for completing it in less than 9 minutes, 0.24 for less than 12 minutes and so on. Maximum amount of gold that you can get is 0.48 gold bars for spending 30 minutes or more in a mission. Extremely helpful tip here to maximize your profits is to complete missions in exact 6, 9 or which is even better 12 minutes. This way you will get maximum amount of gold per minute. And in theory you will be earning up to 1.6 gold bars per hour, but only in theory because in practice there are cutscenes, loading screens and also time between missions. And yes, by the way, time starts. After cutscene when your character appears on the map and you can see the goal of the mission. Sometimes you will see timer immediately and other times it will not be visible but it always starts here, there is always a hidden timer, which affects how much gold you will earn. One additional thing to notice, each month there are different bonuses for different activities in Red Dead Online, and sometimes it's double or even triple gold. So keep an eye on these bonuses, because with double gold pretty much every activity is worth grinding. Anyway, before we will move to the next ways of making gold in Red Dead Online, here is additional tip which will be extremely extremely helpful for beginners. You can actually still can get 10 gold bars for enabling two-step verification in your social club account. It's an old promotion that still works for some unknown reason, I tested it recently. Now, next way to earn gold in Red Dead Online is to complete daily challenges, and for many experienced players you will hear that it's the best way to make gold. But unfortunately it's only true if you are a high level yourself and already purchased a lot of roles. If you are a low level and only starting in Red Dead Online, daily challenges will not be that profitable for you. Let me explain. You can find daily challenges by opening left menu. Here you will see that you have 7 general daily challenges and daily challenges for each specific role. Obviously they will be only available after you will purchase the role. There are different tasks and for completing each challenge you will earn 0.1 gold bars. It's a base payout later you can increase it. If you will complete all 7 general daily challenges or 9 roll daily challenges, you will receive extra payout 0.3 gold bars. Daily challenges are changing every real life day and there is also such thing as daily challenge streaks. So if you will be completing at least one daily challenge each day for 7 days in a row, your base payout will increase. You will receive a multiplier for all your earnings from daily challenges, 1.5. So for example, for completing one daily challenge, you will be earning 0.15 gold bars. If you will maintain your streak for 14 days, multiplier will be equal to. For 21 day, it will be equal to 2.5 and after 28 days, your streak actually will be reset. You will receive a treasure map and a little bit of money, but you will be back to basic payments. So we can make two conclusions here. First of all, daily challenges are really profitable only after you you will have some decent streak, at least 14 days, and beginners obviously don't have such streak, they only started playing in Red Dead Online. And second conclusion, daily challenges are much more profitable for higher levels, because higher levels already have different roles and they have additional 9 role daily challenges to complete plus bonus. And from my experience, completing 9 role daily challenges usually is easier and faster than completing 7 general challenges, especially for beginners 
beginners. So my advice here, if you are a beginner, try to complete one or few easiest daily challenges every day just to maintain the streak. And if you plan every day in two weeks, you will probably have few rolls, additional daily challenges and good multiplier for them. So then you can focus on daily challenges and earn a lot of gold. Now, next gold making method can be extremely profitable, but only if you have friends. I'm talking about call to arms telegram missions. You see, for each wave of enemies you survive in call to arms, you earn exactly 0.1 gold bars. There are 10 waves total, so you will earn one gold bar for completing call to arms map. And if you have a full group of four players, you can complete call to arms in around 30 minutes. And one gold bar is quite a lot for 30 minutes, but let's not forget that also you will earn a lot of money and experience. But you can earn even more with pretty simple technique. You see, when your whole group is dying and you restart in the call to arms map, you still receive the gold bars for waves you completed. And first four waves are pretty simple, so if you will complete only first four waves, then on wave five die intentionally and restart, you will be making even more than two gold bars per hour. But unfortunately, grinding gold to arms is only for players who have some friends, because matchmaking is just non-existent. You will rarely find any teammates. And completing gold to arms solo is just not worth it from money-making and gold-making point of view. It's just too long, you will waste too many tonics, and payout is exactly the same. Next way to make some extra gold in Red Dead Online is to reset your awards. Quite often, game will tell you that you unlocked some award. There are different levels for each award, bronze, silver, and the most importantly, gold. It's because some gold awards you can actually reset up to 10 times, and each time you reset in it, you will get 0.4 gold bars. You can check if you have any awards to reset by opening menu, going to progress, then choosing awards and after that checking each category. And if you were not resetting awards for quite some time, most likely you will find something in a sharpshooter and combat categories. So yeah, just reset everything and get some extra gold. Additionally, some awards cannot be reset, but for completing them you will receive 0.6 gold bars. For example, these awards related to blood money opportunity missions. And now we move into the last and in my opinion the best, especially for beginners, gold making method. It's treasure maps and there are a lot of different ways to get treasure map in Red Dead Online. You will be receiving one treasure map each five levels, just visit post office or check your mailbox in a camp. Also sometimes you will be finding a treasure map when looting enemies, so don't forget to loot all the NPCs you've killed during some mission. Additionally, quite often you will receive a treasure map from a free roam random encounters. Sometimes you will see an NPC who is selling treasure map extremely cheap, sometimes an NPC will attack you and you can loot treasure map from his dead body, and sometimes you will find the treasure map on a tree, so keep an eye. These random encounters are obviously random, but they can only appear in specific locations. Link to a website where you can check these locations will be in the description. I'm not saying that you should go and search for this random encounters and purpose. Just pay attention when you will be in this area. Also, you will get treasure map when your 28 day daily challenge streak will reset and quite often Rockstar are just giving treasure maps as a part of some promotions. Anyway, after you will get a treasure map, I suggest you to read it as fast as possible and just go and find the treasure. It's also pretty simple, just go to selected area and ride around using eagle eye. You will see that treasure chest has the is golden glowing. Also controller vibrates when you're getting close to the treasure. So it should be pretty easy to find the treasure chest, but if you have problems with some specific treasure chest location, again there is a detailed map of each possible treasure chest locations on the site that we were talking about earlier. Now on average from each treasure chest you will get a little more than one gold bar and one hundred dollars. And it's really a lot for ten minutes that you will spend spend on finding the treasure. So on low levels, treasure maps will be one of your main ways to earn gold in Red Dead Online. So now you know everything about earning gold in Red Dead Online, but if you are interested in some other information for beginners, like for example, which mistakes beginners are making all the time, I suggest you to go and watch the video that you can see on your screen now. With that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.